many of us do not understand that the process that, yeah, of salvation did not end At with Jesus yeah. resurrecting and going yeah. up to heaven. He secured our salvation through his sacrifice. Yes. But the process goes on. How do you know that? Only if you look at the type in scripture. Yeah. Are you with me? I, I am. And now the writer goes on to say. Hello and welcome to another study with a biblical perspective. You're here with myself, Ruth South, and with my esteemed colleague, Pedro Antonius. And for those of you who are new to our channel, please rate the channel with a thumbs up and subscribe. And you can also share it with those who may need to know about the study of Hebrews. Pedro, the book of Hebrews, we mentioned, we, 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 we did the first study last week, and that was a wonderful study. But before we go into it, could you pray for us, please? Yes, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, once more, we stand before you in need of your blessing, your presence, your guidance, your Holy Spirit, your direction. We need, Father, that the words of our mouth and the meditation yes. of our hearts may be acceptable unto you, for you are our Lord and our Redeemer. And we're trying to serve you in this capacity. Mm. So equip us. And bless the audience in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That was wonderful, Pedro. I mean, last week, Pedro, um, and to be fair, I'm looking forward to this study. Mm -hmm. um, and the study this week is the message to the Hebrews. Last week, we looked at the letter to the Hebrews and to us. And what a wonderful study that was. I was so blessed by it. And viewers, I would encourage you to go back and look at this study and share it with others because they need that blessing too. So thank you again for last week's study. Pedro, I want to ask you a question because I think it's good just to get a feel of the book of Hebrews. We just started with the preamble and understanding it, but I want to ask you a question because we're looking at the message to the Hebrews. What is the main subject in the message of this book? My answer is very straightforward. Is it now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My answer is Jesus. Wow. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. But not the way okay. they have understood him so far. Right. That's the main subject of the book. And now, if you want to yeah. see or check where I take that from, mm -hmm. I invite you to go to almost the middle of the book okay. in Hebrews chapter 8 and read for me verse 1. Just verse 1. Okay, Hebrews 8 verse 1. I'm actually already in that, so... All right. Wonderful. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven. Now, that's, that's chapter 8. Yeah. That means we have already mm. gone to more than half that's of right. this book. Yeah. Because the book contains 13 chapters. Yes, it does. But think of it, not in terms of chapters, yeah. but as a letter written. Okay. So we, the audience, would have had more than half of yeah. the exposition in this letter. Yeah. And now this passage comes, which we call chapter 8, verse 1, mm -hmm. and says, now the song yeah. of what we have been saying. Mm -hmm. Now, the word that is used there is the word kephalion, kephalion, if you like, that comes from the word kephali. Kephali is that means Hebrew, Greek. What? It's Greek. Sorry, it's Greek. Thank it's you. Greek. Yes. Um, kephali means head. Okay. Chief. So what he is saying when he says the sum, yeah, he is saying the head point, mm -hmm. the chief point, yeah, that we are making okay. through everything uh, that we have said uh, is that we have a high, uh, a high 
priest. Yeah. Who is this high priest? If we keep reading, and in fact, yeah. the, the point has been made before mm -hmm. that is Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ is the main subject okay. of this book, not the way they have understood him so far. So basically, he's telling them, I want you to know. Mm what it is that you're looking at mm. when you're looking at Jesus. Wow. And I want you to know who is it that you're dealing with mm -hmm. when you're dealing with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? I am. And he makes that the main point, mm -hmm. the song, the Kephalion. The Kephalion. Are you with me? Yes. Now, if you read verse 6 okay. of the same Chapter for me, please. And and, and that Jesus mm. is the Jesus post cross. Yes. Are yes. you with me? I am. I want you to know who mm -hmm. is it that you're looking at. What is it that you're looking at when you're looking at Jesus post cross? cross. Wonderful. So eight six. But now has he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. Okay, so in the first verse yes. we read, we see that when you're looking at Jesus post-cross, yes. and this is very, 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 very important, yeah. because mm -hmm. I believe Christianity today has a problem with that. Okay. The Jesus post cross. Yeah, and we will develop on this as we go on with our studies. Yeah. So the first point is saying in verse 1, when you're looking at this Jesus post cross, mm -hmm. you're looking at a heavenly priest. You're looking mm -hmm. at a priest yeah. in heaven. So it's changed. He is saying. It's changed from the cross to. He is saying yeah. the Jesus you're looking yeah. at on earth. He might be the same Jesus, yeah. but what he is dealing with his, now, his mission is different. The cap he is wearing now mm. is not the same that yeah. he was wearing on when earth. you knew him yes. on earth. Yeah. This is the chief point. Yeah. Are you with me? I am. I'm not making this up. You are not. Now in verse 6 now, yes. he is saying, the Jesus you are looking at is the Mesites. This is again another word that he used to say. Greek again? Yes, he is Mesites. saying Mesites. the Mesites. Yes. He is saying he is the mediator. Okay. What does that mean? So we've just read he is a heavenly priest. Now he is saying he is the mediator. What is that? He is the guarantor of forgiveness and salvation. So wow. what he's telling them, I'm answering your question yeah. about the main subject of this message. He is saying you need to know what it is that you are dealing with mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. it comes to Jesus mm -hmm. post cross. cross. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. So Jesus is in heaven. Mm -hmm. He is a high priest, mm -hmm. not just a priest. A high priest. And he yeah. guarantees through Whatever he is doing, we will elaborate on this in our subsequent studies. Mm -hmm. He is guaranteeing you mm -hmm. forgiveness and salvation. This is a huge yeah. thing. That's why he says the kefali point, mm -hmm. the head point, the chief point mm -hmm. of everything that has been said from chapter 1 yeah, to chapter, chapter 8. eight is this wow guarantor of forgiveness and salvation which the whole word world needs so so that means it didn't end it it did not all end at the cross at the cross no. the crucifixion and the resurrection are wonderful yeah 
but there is a more better. to what Jesus yes. is actually doing while you are down here mm -hmm. and he, he is up, up there. there. Well, it says here, remember, it says the covenant which was established upon better promises. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and that points to the fact that these people must have had mm -hmm. a troubled vision yes. of who Jesus really mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying was is. at this point. Yeah. They must have had a troubled vision of who Jesus is is while they are down here not knowing what is going on up, up there. there they knew mm. that jesus went up mm -hmm. you know acts one but what, was he, doing? Says, but what was he doing up there and he's saying and verse eight this tells is you. the subject of me writing to you because yeah. you've got problems and, it, and one of one, one of your main problems yeah. is you do not understand who you're dealing with what you're looking at when you're looking at Jesus. Could this have been the problem when we were looked at the study last week um, in the letters to the Hebrews and us where they were getting weary, they were going back to where they came from and they were on milk when they should have been on meat? This is definitely part of it. Yeah. If that is lacking in their vision and mm. understanding of yeah. who Jesus is, they may have questioned, why am I going through all these things? Yeah. What, what does that mean? What, where is this Jesus? What, yeah. what, what is he doing? That may sound profane from my mouth to the ears of people, but that's, that's what the letter seems to say. Absolutely. That's why I had to bring it back to um, when we looked at chapter five, chapter five, yeah? Yeah. Just It just rang something There out. is definitely a problem yeah. in their understanding. Absolutely, because then that would not have been written, that this sum of yeah. all things. So, Pedro, given that right, it's interesting because you brought out now the ministry of Jesus up there. We met, it mentions here that he's a high priest. But what would be the significance, I'm just trying to work out, of presenting Jesus as the high priest and mediator of people, of the people? You see, what? That, 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 that's a perfect question um, because it follows right the argument that we've just yeah. had mm. and it links to what we heard in our first studies when the text says in 512, you should have been teachers of these things, but you are on milk and you need somebody else to come back and teach you the basics. Yeah. It means the trouble they had yeah. is understanding Jesus in the light of God's word mm. was a problem for them. Mm. I'm saying this again. They seem to not have understood mm -hmm. who Jesus was or who yeah. Jesus is mm. in the light of God's word. What word? Yeah. What we call the Old Testament. Testament. Yeah. That's why I said the book of Hebrews is so interwoven it is. with um, Old Testament quotations, allusions, mm -hmm. echoes, and mm -hmm. imageries. Mm -hmm. Maybe even more than the book of Revelation, but we'll, we'll leave that aside. Yeah. Now, evidence of what their problem was, mm. you can read for me from Hebrews chapter 9, okay. verses 11 and 12, and then 14 and 24. Okay. Please. So, reading from 11. Chapter 9, verse 11 and 12 and in the 12. first. At, yeah. at first and then 14 and 24 okay. and this is on the back of me saying okay they seemed not to have understood mm -hmm. who Jesus was or who Jesus is in the light of scripture okay so you can read that for right me, Hebrews 9 11 but Christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered into once into the holy place, 
having obtained eternal redemption for us. 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit of, of offer himself without spot, to God purge your conscience? 20, oh, from dead works to serve a living God. 24. For Christ is not entered into the holy place made with hands. What are figures of the, of the true? But into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. You see, there is no way you can understand that if you do not know yeah. what this is about. Absolutely. And it is quite clear yeah. that if you have the Word of God and you are acquainted to the Word of God, yeah. the whole of this is talking about the sanctuary system yes, it is. on earth to which people could relate because of their understanding and their knowledge of the Word of God. Yes. But what it is doing here is we, it is transferring mm -hmm. this same system mm -hmm. of the sanctuary on earth which the people of Israel yeah. were so accustomed to for hundreds of years to another type of sanctuary this time in heaven with the same language mm -hmm. and the same type of ceremonies but this but it, time it's different this time it is different, different. it's like type meets anti-type but on steroids it's more powerful and more saving than it was because that's correct and all of that mm -hmm. is transferred Into to Jesus absolutely are you with me so we we read yeah. at the beginning that the sum the kefali yeah. the head the yeah. chief point is that we have a high priest a great, in heaven yeah. so you can understand now you are so acquainted to the system mm -hmm. of Down here. the priest yeah. on earth yeah. and the tabernacle in the sanctuary mm -hmm. on earth now when you look at Jesus you need to transfer everything that was happening down here Minus to the heavenly. up there where Jesus is. Yeah. Now, this is understanding Jesus in the light mm -hmm. of Scripture. If yeah. you go to Leviticus, for yes. instance, chapter 1, it's a long passage. That's okay. But if you go to Leviticus chapter 1, yeah. verses 1 to 9, you can see that the language that is used by the writer of mm -hmm. the book of Hebrew yeah. to define what Jesus' ministry post-cross yeah. is, is the same yes. as what you find in what we call the Old Testament and also scriptures okay. from the Bible. So Leviticus 1, 1 to 9. Yes, please. And the Lord called unto Moses and spake unto him out of the tabernacle of the con congregation, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, If any man of you bring an offering unto the Lord, you shall bring your offering of the cattle, even of the herd and of the flock. If this offering be a burnt sacrifice of the herd, let him offer a male without blemish. He shall offer it of his own voluntary will at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord. And he shall put his hand upon the head of the burnt offering and it shall be accepted up for him to make atonement for him. And he shall kill the bullock before the Lord and the priests Aaron's sons shall bring the blood and sprinkle the blood round about upon the altar that is by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall flay the burnt offering and cut it into his pieces. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, the priest shall put fire upon the altar and lay the wood in order upon the fire. And the priests, Aaron's sons, shall lay the parts the head and the fat in order upon the wood that is on the fire which is upon the altar. But the inward and his legs shall he wash in water and the priest shall burn all on the altar before, to be a burnt sacrifice 
an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. You see, this is the priestly yes. activities. The physical, on, earthly. The, the priestly yes. activities on earth. Yes. And this is the same language. Mm -hmm. it, 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 not in every detail, but in terms of yes. tabernacle, mm -hmm. in terms of sacrifice, mm -hmm. in terms of blood, yes. in terms of high priestly mm -hmm. functions, in terms of what would happen mm -hmm. in order to ensure forgiveness and salvation to yes. individuals, that language is now mm -hmm. and that function is now applied to what Jesus is doing post cross, not on earth, but in heaven so therefore in the light of scriptures yes. jesus becomes the fulfillment of. the ultimate fulfillment of scriptures yes. he becomes the ultimate salvation reality mm -hmm. in the light of scriptures yes. and this is what the writer is trying, is to, trying to, to, to teach these people and you used yeah. a word you used type Meeting. and anti-type yeah. that would mean that whatever had been practiced for centuries yeah. in that system now was an object lesson mm -hmm. to the reality mm -hmm. that would come yes and he is saying it came in Jesus Christ yes. because salvation is, is through, through him absolutely. alone and that and that is it and it's wonderful right that all these truths have been brought out in the book of Hebrews and I think the, the book of Hebrews is one that we've got no doubt as the ministry of Christ right here right now but it's what we do with that do we just sit on it and read the book of Hebrews and say oh what a wonderful book or do we come boldly to the throne of grace as it says that we can stand before God because our mediator now is Jesus Christ yeah which gives us hope yeah right absolutely so it gives hope for the hopeless so I'm gonna ask you right because we just talked about type meets meets anti-type so we looked at we just looked at Leviticus and we're looking at what the priest did and that was and that was the um, the type now given the fact that we are now living in a world different to their priestly ministry and you mentioned about um jesus our high priest what does that mean for them and for us being as we're in different dispensation for them it meant yeah you need to look at the scriptures with different eyes right and okay. you need to understand the process in which the scriptures um develop yeah. and expose the, 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 the reality of yeah. how God saves people. Okay. All you knew so far yeah. was that system. Mm -hmm. But what I'm telling you now is that God only used that system for time That's so right. that he could give you a proof of his process mm -hmm. that he wants to take you through mm. to understand how really you are saved i have yes. this system here yeah. you have to offer sacrifices mm -hmm. you have to kill the animal yourself mm. the priest has to take the blood so on and so forth but i also want you to understand that the price of sin is much higher than that yeah. although you're dealing with mm -hmm. taking the life yes. of the animal it would not suffice i want you to know that it is higher than that mm -hmm. therefore i'm gonna give you those steps yeah. to take you through and then i'm gonna give you the real sacrifice yeah with the real blood that can actually redeem you yeah. that's why the text says with his own blood mm -hmm. he went into Two. and now with his own blood he is mediating so for the people yeah it meant jesus came 
he lived, mm -hmm. he talked, he died, mm -hmm. he resurrected. Mm -hmm. That was great. Mm -hmm. But salvation goes, the process goes oh. on. Mm -hmm. Whatever has been accomplished is accomplished. How do you know that? Comparing what happened in the sanctuary. Yeah. You came with the animal. You killed the animal. You took the blood of the animal. But the process went on. Mm. The blood had to be carried yeah. by the priest. Mm. And then intercession had to be made. By the priest. Once, once you understand that, yeah. then you can see, aha, mm -hmm. it is done with the death of it the is done mm -hmm. with the resurrection but it is not done with the process that should go with the blood yeah. and the intercession that's why you need now while you on earth mm -hmm. you need that mediator Absolutely. You need that guarantor Absolutely. you need one who represents you in heaven mm -hmm. with that precious blood this was foreign to them but looking at scripture yes. and hearing the exposition of the writer it meant for them mm. that now they know yeah. where they are at yeah in time yeah and in the event of their own salvation are you with yes. me yes let me give you a word okay. if you go to hebrews chapter 10 mm -hmm. and you read verses 19 to 22 okay. what it meant that jesus had to become the reality of the shadow yeah. they knew yeah in the sanctuary system on earth okay hebrews chapter 10 yeah. 19 to 22 Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holies by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he has consecrated for us, the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and, have, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. You see, even in Christianity Come today, that, if, many of us do not understand that the process that is, yes, of salvation did not end At with Jesus yeah. resurrecting and going yeah. up to heaven. He secured our salvation through his sacrifice, yes. but the process goes on. How do you know that? Only if you look at the type of in scripture yeah. are you with me I, I am. and now the writer goes on to say you need to understand while you rejoicing for the sacrifice mm -hmm. of jesus mm -hmm. on earth you need to understand that more is going on up there and more significant so that mm. it, it it allows you to remain in that yeah. process it allows you to focus on reality mm. remember we read in in 512 yeah. that they they were on milk mm -hmm. and and we 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 saw in two three that they there was a possibility that they would neglect such yeah. a salvation sure. but this salvation is not talking about just jesus died on the cross and That's resurrected right. after at thir three days That's it's right. speaking about what what is now, going on right, right now. now in their lives yes so and, when, our, and our lives when they remain connected to yeah. that truth mm -hmm. it gives their determination it, gi it gives them determination. Yes. It gives them the power to go on because salvation is going on yes. on their behalf. And because Jesus has paid the price mm -hmm. 
then they can boldly enter the rest of the process and approach God. And that communication and communion yes. with God is what actually frees them completely and purges their conscience from all sins. Wonderful, excellent study. And I'm looking forward to the one next week as well. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed it. Please join us again next week for another biblical perspective. And please like, share and subscribe. Pedro, that was amazing. Thank you.